an expert when it comes to Grand Fondo? Ashley McIver, is that a fair title? Well, I did it once, so I'm totally an expert. <laughs> hey, you've gone through the gauntlet, 122 kilometers, Vancouver to Whistler, Cyclists Unite. What a journey this is. And uh, you were saying uh, you're an avid cyclist, but not an expert by any means. But what was this experience like going through it in 2011? Oh, it was interesting. Uh, I'm, I would say I'm an expert mountain biker, just not an, I'm not, I'm only an avid uh, mountain biker. So the road biking is really different for me. Um, I did it with my mom and her sister and my sister, and it was kind of a last minute plan. So I didn't really train as hard as I should have, but it's, uh, you know, you can pace yourself. There are lots of uh, rest stations with great food and great company. and. Uh, the scenery distracts you from the pain, and it was all in all, it was quite pleasant. It was just the last little bit that <laughs> I hear made me go, "Do I want to do thing. this again?" Yeah. So, uh, what was your race time when you did it? You said you, you signed up, uh, you know, close to the last minute. What was your race time for this? It took us over seven hours. It was, um, wow. yeah, we were just cruising. My mom and her sister were were not quite comfortable getting into our draft, which is huge in a ride like this. What uh, does that mean, getting into your draft? So, getting in behind us. So we're breaking the wind, and we're actually pulling them along behind us. Oh, it's see, it's no, something like 40% easier um, riding in someone's draft, and they'll they'll tell you that in the in the yeah. clinics. But um, yeah, it was it was just a little bit too slow. <laughs> I think it would have been easier if we'd gone just a bit faster and we'd been able to draft each other and pull each other along. And a lot of teamwork in the Grand yeah, Fondo. Well, yeah. you brought some pictures of the experience for us for uh, a lot of the cyclists that want to go through it. So take us through these pictures and uh, what was happening with the fam. Uh, that's my sister on the left, then me, then my mom's sister, and then my mom on the far right. And that's just uh, getting off the Stanley Park Causeway onto the Lionsgate Bridge. There's the, the other direction. Um, I think this was actually Gregor Robertson taking those photos. I handed him my phone so he could get all four of us. Wow. And you start bright and early for this race, right? Yeah. I, I can't even remember what time it was. There's me and my, I've got my bike shoes strapped to my handlebars. I'm in my socks. That's at the finish. Wow. <laughs> my bike shoes are too small for me. So <laughs> I actually decided to take them off and ride in my socks about at Brandywine Falls. Yeah. <laughs> so that was really, other than that, it, I think that was really what made it um, not quite as awesome in the final stretch. But other than that, it was would have been just a beautiful ride. Is the challenge more mental or physical when it comes to this? Because you know it's great when you have uh, a lot of the, the runs in the city. You've got an energy. You mentioned the stop stations going on. What's more difficult? Oh, it was definitely all in your head. <laughs> it's like, I mean, for me, having not really trained going into it, I was just, I just needed to keep the wheels turning, keep the pedals spinning. Um, my aunt had a tough time, you know, convincing herself to finish and. Uh, and then she was so glad she did, and I think that's often how it is with major workouts or, or adventures like this. You uh, you kind of need to just focus on one step at a time and these little manageable goals. Like, I'll just get to the next rest stop, yeah. and then we'll take a break, and if I don't want to keep going, I'll stop there. But usually by the time you've taken a break, you, you want to keep going, and uh, you know, before you know it, you're at the finish line. <laughs> it makes it that much more realistic. Do you have a goal, target time for the uh, Grand Fondo this year? No, I'm honestly, like, I'm just there to cruise and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the road being closed. It's pretty rare. That, that happens. Yeah, it's a, a surreal surrounding. So I did the Grand Fondo Clinic last night, and this was my first Fondo. Myfirstfondo.com is the website to find out more about this. And I got to say, I learned so much from the technical aspect of things to be aware of when you're on the road, safety gear, how to use your bike, what to do with the flat. Uh, it's such a useful clinic, and they're doing these what week after week leading mm -hmm. up to September 7th for the big race. Yeah, it's amazing how many details there are like that that you wouldn't even think to ask about uh, that make a huge difference. But yeah, I'll try and jump in on one with you at some yeah, point. Yeah, <laughs> you should do it Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights. Nights, it's all across the board, and I believe you're going to have a different title come September 7th. I am. I'll be Ashley race. Demerit by the time the Grand Fondo rolls around. You're going to take Jay's last name? Oh, yeah. True I'm going to be proud to have his last name. Um, yeah, we're getting married on August 25th, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll probably have a break from training for the Grand Fondo around there, but yeah. hopefully it'll all still work out. That is awesome, and I heard Jay did a terrific job guest co-hosting on Breakfast Television, so thank him for that. I will, and I just wanted to add, uh, my mom asked me to add, I'm uh, doing some cross-training for the Grand Fondo this Saturday. It's National Health and Fitness Day, oh. and my mom's been volunteering for MP in Ottawa on that, so Jay and I will both be kicking off a 5K run from the Olympic Cauldron at 7 7 a.m. on Saturday. You that should come cross train with us. Is that a girl? I like the <laughs> suggestion on that. So RBC Grand Fondo Whistler.com and MyFirstFondo.com if you want to uh, find out more for the big race. We got to find out the right outfits though for uh, for cycling too. Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to be in all spandex. You're not allowed to have a visor on your helmet. These are all details that I didn't are know there, as a mountain biker. Are there biker, rules but. about canary yellow? 
Yeah. Any rules about anything canary yellow? Does it need to be all black or what are we talking about? I think yellow is encouraged, Russ. It might be encouraged there on the race. Only on Riaz. Yeah, only on Riaz. Yeah. You got that right. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm looking at Ashley and Foghorn Leghorn or who, who's over there. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I, so, you know I, I, I had something them. to say in the weather department. I've forgotten that. You got to get those pants off or at least get behind a desk or something, buddy. I can't remember what I'm thinking about here. <laughs>